Keep your applause going now for Jeff Zimmerman. Come on up, Jeff. Hey, guys. All right, look, I'm getting on the subway. I got two bags of groceries. It's raining, the bottom of these paper bags are wet. I need these groceries very badly. I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous because I need these groceries bad, but also they're from Whole Foods, so like, how am I gonna pay my rent? <laughs> and, and I'm going through what I like to refer to as a surprise divorce, <laughs> and I just need some grace and patience from the world right now. I am broken glass on the inside. And when I need grace and patience from the world, what I do when I know I'm not going to get it is I like to straddle a garbage can and take a pint of Ben and & Jerry's and work the spoon down through the chocolate core of the Ben and & Jerry's, and you can pull the whole thing out in a move that I call the sad King Arthur. And then you just eat it all. And you don't really get any grace or patience or understanding, but you can go to sleep. And I need that, too. <laughs> so the bags are straining, and I'm getting on the train, and it's crowded. And right as I'm reaching for the pole, this dude grabs my shoulder like I'm a door that has gotten stuck. and just goes, and shoves me out of the way, and the bags rip. And all my groceries, including my surrogate feelings, are just pinballing <laughs> among everybody's dirty feet down the subway car. And I was just like, oh, Lord, not now, you know? So... I'm leaning over to pick up my groceries. I've got a messenger bag on, and it's coming up behind me like this. And I think it was touching the lady behind me a little bit, because I just heard <laughs> and, and I looked back, and somebody, I don't know, whatever. So I, I go to get my groceries again, and again, and I know it was her, because somebody goes, I said and I turned and I looked, and there's a woman standing there holding a pole, and she's looking at me, and she's rolling her eyes. And I know what she's seeing, because I know what I look like, all right? I'm 6'2". It doesn't matter if I eat that Ben & Jerry's or not. I'm a fight heavyweight. I tried on a cardigan one time, and it looked real stupid. So now <laughs> I'm going to go with heavy metal t-shirts. So I kind of look like the social media guy for the Hells Angels. And... <laughs> She's just seeing this big oaf that doesn't care about anything but himself. And I just know I'm not going to get that patience. So I just went there in my head and decided I wasn't going to get it. And said, oh, oh, is my bag touching your arm like a tiny bit and like moderately inconveniencing you on the train right now? Is that why we're making these noises? And she answers my question by looking the subway ad in the eye questioning my parenting and saying, some people weren't raised to respect anybody around them. They don't understand space or who's in it or who they're shoving or anything at all. And then right then, this little dude that saw the whole thing jumps up and goes, you need to shut the hell up, lady. You don't understand the challenges he's facing in his life right now. <laughs> all right, because you crying about a bag touching you on the arm. He got $1,400 worth of soup cans of Ben and Jerry's rolling up and down the F train. You need to step back, get some perspective, see your place in this world, and then shut up. Am I wrong? Tease me up. And I'm standing here just adrenaline like this. And on the inside, I was like, Oh, I would have phrased that so differently, but, but on the outside, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's basically how it went down. And, and, and she goes, oh, oh, I see. Well, I happen to have several extra bags here. Would you like them? And, and so empathetic and understanding in such a hateful way. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's super. I'll take your stupid bags. And she gets them out, and we're just cramming my groceries into the bags. Making eye contact the whole time. <laughs> like this. She's like, take several extra. They're thin. I would hate for this to happen all over again later. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a great idea, lady. I appreciate that. And we're just standing there like... <sighs> for several stops. Just 
hating each other with our breath, but on the inside, thank you, you know. And then, ding, and she just stands up and looks at me and goes, have a blessed day, baby, and leaves. And the one person that understands me in this world I never saw again, and that's why I hate this city, but I can never leave it, because there are so many beautiful, beautiful blessings to be found in this town if you scrape the patina of sheer rage <laughs> off of everybody and just look underneath. Thank you.